Okay, um, let me get things moved around here. So we're given a question that is asking if we have a shipment of 15 microwaves. So that's, that's my total sample space. Um, or not my total sample space, the N, and uh, 50 microwaves and contain four defective. So there's four defective, which of course makes sense. There would be 11 non-defective. A restaurant is buying five of these. What is the probability of the restaurant buying at least four non-defectives? So at least four means four or greater. So we're looking for the probability at least four or five. Okay, remember or and probability means to add. So if I could find the combinations, the number of ways they would get four non-defective, well that would be four out of the 11 good ones. And then, since they're buying five, one of the other ones would be defective. And then plus, now I'm going to get actually all of them non-defective. So that's out of the non-defectives and all that they buy. And then times the, and this is also multiply, and then times out of the defective bunch, they don't get any. All right, so in other words, they get four out of the non-defective and one defective, five out of the non-defective and zero defective. Well, my total sample size here, my space, what I'm going to divide by is going to be 15 out of, they're getting five. All right, so I have everything that I need here. Now all I have to do is figure out how to put this in my calculator. So let's see if I can get a calculator here. And so if I go up here to my calc, oops, that wasn't a good move. <laughs> Let me go find my calculator again. My calculator. Where's my calculator? File. Oh, right there. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out how to put this in here. There is on your calculator a way to do combinations, but it's weird. You have to do the number first, so 11, and then you do math, go to the right to probability, and then look at there, in CR, so the number of items taken R at a time, and so I hit enter, and I do four, and in fact, I can just keep doing this. If you, if you want to see each number, you could go ahead and enter, hit enter, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going. So times now four math probability combinations. I'm right here taking one at a time. Let's go ahead and just hit enter with that. So we have 1320. We'll remember that number. Now let's do this second piece. So 11 math probability combination enter five times four math. Probability, com oops, combination, and then zero. And so that's 462. So I'm going to add those together, but now I need to know what I'm going to divide by, which is 15, take, near nail, five at a time. So I got everything I need, 13, 20, plus... 462 divided by 3003, and that's my answer, my probability, 0 0.593, and that's it.